Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Pathway channel. Today, we will discuss together the nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. It's recommended also that you watch the other video for the classic type uh, Hodgkin lymphoma and compare the stains uh, in these two types. So by definition, the, the, the Hodgkin lymphoma, they are lymphoid neoplasms affecting uh, the lymph nodes, and it is a B-cell neoplasm. This is the uh, 4X uh, magnification, and on this magnification, we just want to see whether we still have any nodular architecture uh, preserved or not. And for me, it seems like it's all effaced or it's a diffuse uh, sheets of these small lymphocytes. But also we can appreciate from this power that we have in the background, this pinkish uh, material, which is um, maybe histiocytes, maybe some fibrosis in the background with these uh, sheets of lymphocytes. I will jump directly to the 20X to appreciate the background and see if we have any uh, large cells uh, scattered in between. Here we are at the 20X, and as you can see, what we saw on the low power was uh, true. We have these small cells with this condensed uh, chromatin. These are the lymphocytes. They are small in size, but the background is uh, full of these um, pinkish material, as we saw, and this is like some fibrosis in the background. We have also a very important uh, cell here, which will help us do the diagnosis, which are these large cells. They call it the LP cells or the popcorn cells. As you can see, the cytoplasm here, it gives um, the look of uh, some popcorn. So this is the LP cells. Of course, we won't judge from this uh, H&E alone. We will need some stains to confirm the type of this Hodgkin lymphoma, but at least we suspect that we have Hodgkin lymphoma in this lymph, lymph node. I will search for other uh, cells, and let's see this one at higher magnification first. So this is the cell we saw at the 20X. As you can see, the cytoplasm, it gives this look of uh, popcorn, and it's large cell in comparison to the surrounding cells, which are uh, very small um, if you compare both uh, together. Let's look if we have more of these cells. So this is another popcorn cell or LP cell here. These are the mummified bodies that we explained uh, in the previous video. It's a form of the LP cells or the Hodgkin uh, cells. And we have here a lot of other popcorn cells or LP cells with the same features with this uh, cytoplasm. And here we have another one. Here we have another uh, one. So now we suspect that we have um, Hodgkin lymphoma and we need to confirm it with some stains to know the type. For the stains, I will go on a lower uh, magnification. So again, here I'm at the 4X. As you can see, all B cells, they are taking the stain. But the question here, whether these large cells are taking the stain or not. If they won't take the stain, this will be diagnosed as classic type. If they are taking the stain, then this is the uh, nodular uh, lymphocyte predominant type because the B cell uh, antigens are preserved in this type. So here on this magnification, we are at the 20X. And please compare this video to the other video to compare whether the cells are taking the stain or not. So I can see here a large cell. And now the, the staining surrounding this cell is the cell itself. The cell itself is taking the stain. It's not the surrounding cells. Okay, because in the last video or the previous video, we saw that the cell appears as if it's taking the stain, but it's actually the surrounding cells are taking the stain, and that's why it looks like 
it's taking the stain. This one is really taking the stain because all the surrounding cells, they look negative for the stain or they are negative for this stain. Let's see if we can see another cell to confirm. Again here for com confirmation, this cell, it's really taking the stain. First of all, it's big in size in comparison to the other B cells surrounding it. And the, the, the surrounding cells, they are T cells, so they are not even taking the CD20 stain. So this one is stained with CD20. So I will consider this CD20 positive. Here, another cell. See how strong is the, the membrane uh, stained with the CD20 in comparison to our previous uh, video. Okay, let's go for other stains. This is the CD3 just for completion to show you that the T cells, they take the uh, CD3 stain. Now we will go for some specific stains. This is the CD30. The CD30 in the classic type, the Reed Sternberg cells, they stained for CD30. Here we don't have staining for CD30, so they are negative. And let's take um, a look at this higher magnification. Those cells, by the way, taking the stain, they can be immunoblasts, but they are not the LP cells. I will show you the LP cells here. So I hope you can see this cell. It's a big cell. And from my microscope, it looks a popcorn cell. So it's not taking the CD30. I'll try to get a good example. OK, I think it's better appreciated on the uh, 40x. So. Here, this is another LP cell, and it's really negative. I hope it's clear this uh, this time. OK, let's see these cells. I'm just confirming with you that they do not take the stain, the CD30. So this is another large cell, and it's not taking the stain. Here we have another cell not taking the stain. So another cell not taking the stain. So they are CD30 negative. This is what I want to uh, confirm with you. Accordingly, it's CD15 negative. So this is the CD15. I'll just show you uh, one example on the CD15, and I don't want to uh, waste more time on this. So this is the CD15, and this is a large cell. It's not taking the stain, it's negative. Now, let's take a look at the CD45. If you remember correctly, CD45 was negative in the classic type, and here it's the reverse. It's positive for LP cells. So here I'm on uh, the 40X uh, directly, and this is a big cell. As you can see, the membrane here is deeply stained with the CD45. And again, please compare it with the other uh, video. I'll get you another example for this. See here the membrane, how it's deeply stained, how we have this perfect line of deep stain for the CD45 in comparison to the other uh, video or negative stains. These might be blood vessels. This is the PAX5, and the cells should preserve the PAX5 positive. So here we have one big cell, and it's stained, the nucleus is stained with the PAX5. 
and another big cell in comparison to these small nuclei around. So this is PAX5 positive. And this is how it should be. Just to confirm again. To make it more clear, this is the 40X and this is a big cell, a big nucleus taking the stain in comparison to these small cells, B cells, and this is another one. So this is PAX5. Accordingly, and saying that these cells are preserving the B cell uh, antigen markers, this is the OCT2. And as you can see from this low power, even without going on higher power, I'm trying to adjust the focus, that these cells, they are big cells and they are taking the stain. So in classic type, these cells, they don't have or they don't preserve the OCT2 stain. Okay, now the focus is adjusted. We are at the 40X again with the OCT2. And as you can see, this is a clear popcorn cell and it's taking the stain. Another one here, another one, all these big cells. This is the Bob1 stain. And let's go directly on higher magnification. Just want you to appreciate this big cell taking the Bob1 stain uh, and other B cells taking the stain surrounding it. So this one is Bob1 positive. And this again is the reverse in a classic type. Another cell here, big cell, looks a popcorn cell and it's taking the stain. So OCT2 positive, BOB1 positive. And now let's see an important thing on this one with either the PD1 or the CD57 to see how the T cells, they stain and they surround these big cells uh, forming the rosettes. So this is another feature that will help in diagnosing this entity. So from this low power, I'm adjusting the focus. So can you see this rosette? These are T cells stained by the PD-1 surrounding this large cell. Let's see it at a higher power. Let's see this beautiful uh, rosette with these T cells surrounding here, this LP cell. So this is an important stain to help diagnose uh, this entity and we have a lot of rosettes here so this is another rosette with the T cells surrounding the LP cells look for this rosette also you can do this with the CD57 and the PD1 or the PD1 This is the CD57, and the same rosettes are formed here. For completion of this case, we do the uh, Eber or the Epstein Barr virus to see whether this is positive or negative. And as you can see here, it's all negative cells. We don't have any positive cells. So this is nodular. Uh, lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma, um, Eber or Epstein Barr uh, virus negative. This stain is the EMA. It's positive in around 50% of cases. So let's see if we have any large cells positive.
Yes, maybe we have this cell, it's a popcorn cell and it's taking the stain. So we may consider it a weak positive in this case. Thank you for watching uh, this video. Please uh, like and uh, do a subscription to our channel.